said Hood. Martin O'Fire delighted, Frank Warren even more so, and uh, Paul Turner as well, vindicated for the way that he tries to play the game. You know, we were always going to be the underdogs, but... Um... Player he is, so... Except for possibly an indiscretion. Well, you know, that's it's part of the game in a way, an aggressive game like that, a hard game, which is a, it was a forward confrontation. Yeah. Um, there was always going to be a few moments that were a bit iffy, but uh, nothing to live on, really. Uh, well, Paul Turner was excited, Rob Andrew was phlegmatic, they were talking rather quickly there, and uh, Jeff Probin was actually saying um, that he was talking about the incident involving uh, Nick Popperwell and saying it was just one of those things, Steve. Do you think it was just one of those things? Well, I was going well with Jeff, but that's rubbish. It isn't part of the game. That, for me, was a calculated assault, a measured assault on a key player in the Bedford team. I think Nick Popperwell has always played it pretty fair, but on, on this occasion, that was completely out of order. Well, this was the first one earlier on that got a yellow card for McCurry on Gareth Archer. And that maybe was neither here nor there. You could actually perhaps have called that one way or the other. I think this is the Popperwell punch. Though. Yes, well, I mean, I think Scott, uh, Scott Murray comes across there. Doddy Weir's won it OK. I think that punch is calculated, as I say, measured and brutal. And that is a disgrace. And as Nigel Stammersmith said on commentary, what do you have to do to be sent off? But the referee gave him a yellow card, so the player can't now be cited. So well, the onus is on Newcastle. Absolutely. And if Newcastle are a, a sporting institution, not a financial institution, if they've got any uh, soul of the game in them, they will take their own action. They cannot hide behind the fact that, that the match officials saw it and took action. It's down to Newcastle. The ball is in their court. OK, let's talk about, well, the injury that Tony Underwood suffered, a broken jaw, which may or may not rule him out of the Lions tour. Is this one of those sort of things that happens when you're playing in the backs? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a similar sort of tackle to the one that uh, Jim Staples and Adade Adebe got involved with. The, uh, the Coventry wingers just come in to hit Tony Man and Ball to, to Bed stop Bedford. the overlap, sorry, the Bedford Man and Ball. And uh, perhaps he's gone in a little high, but you see Tony there, he's ducked to make the pass. I think uh, it would have been a bit harsh to have uh, been got into trouble for that sort of a tackle. Mm. Now, it was a great game, Steve, and the Bedford pack was awesome, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I mean, the organisation was magnificent. Um, the, the great thing was they never played together before this season, but some of this close driving stuff they, they did was awesome. Now, this is them lifting a siege in the first half and really um, putting the match on, on its backside, in a sense, because it was Newcastle who'd come out well, and that was lifting the siege. Now, this, there's, there's Big Norm, who's lost a bit of weight since he was in, in, in my seat on Buckley Special. Less Big Norm. Uh, less Big Norm. But again, wonderful, and it's, it's as if these guys have played together all their lives, you know, and not just seen each other at the start of this season. And uh, we've got the Fire try as well, and uh, if anybody, cynics maybe think he's just in it for the money, he's enjoying this. Yes, I mean, his commitment was good. He was involved in rucks and malls and all sorts of stuff that you wouldn't get involved in in rugby league, and uh, I think he's quite pleased with this try too. Indeed, and just a quick thought about the second division, Will, because you, you were talking, watching that, that, you know, Strowley, Pat Lamb, all those Lions, it is a remarkable strength in depth, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you, you see those sort of names playing and you think, are we watching Super 12s? Uh, Lamb and Strowley coming head to head. But, uh, you know, to have them in League Two, you're, really, you're, you're pushing for promotion, those boys. It'd be interesting to see who gets the final two slots, uh, see what happens at Newcastle if Newcastle don't quite make it. Yeah. But well, with, uh, with Martin Afire there and his uh, celebrations, it, the ABC club at Leicester frown upon you if you, you even smile after a try. It would be interesting to see what they'd have to say to Martin after that one. Yeah. We're talking about who may or may not go up. Uh, let's look at the second division table. Uh, Richmond sneaking past Blackheath yesterday in Coventry, uh, narrowly beating Rotherham, but that keeps all of them in contention. Next week, it's Newcastle against Coventry, and one result we must mention in the third division.